What's up guys, Mark from Spots Music, spotsmusic.com here. Today we've got a great video lined up for you. I'm actually on the drive to work and this is the worst stop sign in Dubois, Pennsylvania. Usually when it's busy, I'm, I'm headed in here kind of early, but usually when it's busy, like I can sit here for a good minute, two minutes and be the only one that needs to go. But today I just got to come and stop and then drive. You don't care. What you care about is what this video is gonna be about. I've been there. I've plugged into a guitar amp that I knew absolutely nothing about and uh, didn't know how to set settings and sounded absolutely horrible. I actually have done that multiple times, um, plugging into a guitar amp that just doesn't sound good when you play it and immediately knew that uh, I didn't like the amp when in fact, if I knew how to set the amp up properly, I might have actually liked it. So today I wanna to talk to you about, uh, about three different tone spectrums or tone types that we can get out of any amplifier in the world. Now, amps will range in, uh, in cleanliness or clean tones to really distorted sounds. So there are some amps designed better for heavy distortion or really uh, oversaturated tones and some that are designed a lot better for your clean sounds. But we're gonna discover what it takes to get three different types of amps into three different tone shapes and so that the next time your buddy brings an amp over for you to try out, you know what to do to, uh, to get it to sound good from the get-go or if you stop in the store or stop in a, uh, a guitar shop and uh, want to try out an amp, you aren't the guy that doesn't know what you're doing and, and can get things set up. We've all been there. We've all not known how to, uh, how to make an amplifier sound good, um, but we want to learn clean sounds, crunch sounds, and lead sounds out of any amplifier. That's this video. Let's do it. All right, guys, we're back in the shop. I've got... The amplifiers I've selected from the store already lined up so we can talk about them. Three types of amps that we're going to be looking for three types of tones out of um, to kind of get you started on the right foot plugging into any amplifier. First off, we've got our modeling amp. Now this guy is a PV Audition. Obviously it's very simple. There are three knobs and a on off switch for the lead setting. So that guy's going to be the easiest to, to get a decent tone out of as far as clean goes. Um, I'm actually gonna talk through the settings on each of these as I go just up front so that you understand how an amp works. We plug into the input and then uh, this guy has a lead channel that can be turned on or off. When it's off, it's just a clean setting. You just have volume control, highs and lows. I typically like to start the highs and lows pretty much neutral, so straight up at five on this amp. And then volume just gonna give you overall volume. Now for clean settings, obviously having the lead channel turned off is where you wanna be. For your distortion settings, turn the button on, good to go. I know plugging into this amp, if I turn the volume all the way down, that I can bring the volume up so that I'm not blowing my head off when I turn it on. Next up is a Fender Champ 25 SE. Now this is our tube amp model or analog style um, guitar amp. So a tube amp works off of vacuum tubes, analog circuitry. It is the classic style amp. It's what most people are familiar with um, 20, 30 years ago. Um, they are still to this day the most popular recording or touring amplifiers just because the tonality is so good on a tube amp. But technology has gotten so good that a lot of people are playing modeling amps now, a lot lower stage volume. It's that's a story for another time. But the way that these guys work, there are, you've got your inputs right on the front of the amp, but you have two different channels on this particular amp. So it's identifying um, the, the different channel sections on an amplifier. Pretty simple when you look at it. This one, uh, it's got the normal settings, and then it also has the drive settings as well as master settings. So master's gonna be on all the time. There's a loudness and a reverb mod or knob. It doesn't really matter what those do in the master section. Obviously it's reverb effect and then a loudness effect. You have power and standby. With a tube amp, we're gonna wanna leave it on standby 
turn the power on. I don't have it plugged in right now, so no lights came on. Turn it on, let her warm up, and then you flip the standby switch. For clean sounds, the way that a tube amp works, there are actually two gain stages. Um, on the clean channel, there is just the one volume control. You have treble, mid, and bass on this particular amp. So most of the time, there's a preamp or in a post gain, so pre and post. On the drive channel, we get that on this amp. It has a gain knob and a volume knob. The front end gain, that's how distorted we're gonna get. So if we want a clean channel, we know we wanna be on the normal set setting treble mid and bass again i'm just going to set those at five because that's where i like my starting point i can bring the volume down to plug into it to get started out on my drive channel uh, for a crunch we want less gain for heavy lead we want more gain that's the amount of distortion that we have um, so we're going to start i'm going to start right at two contour just gives you like a mid shape um, that's going to be for tone on this particular amp every amp's different so we're just going to leave that at five treble at five and bass at five and then this select button is what actually selects my normal setting or my drive setting. So I'm going to uh, engage that. I'm guessing that when it's in, it's gonna be on the drive channel. So actually let's pull that out so hopefully we're on the clean. If you don't know, that's okay. Right now, I don't know, but if I bring this volume down, whether I'm in channel one or the normal channel um, or the drive channel, I know that I'm not gonna blow my head off, volume's gonna be good. When I turn this amp on and plug into it, it's not gonna be one of those scenarios where it squeals and gets really loud obnoxiously and scares everybody in, within a 10 mile radius of you. Uh, reverb, we're gonna leave a little bit on. I like reverb personally, and I'm gonna bring loudness uh, down to two. And so that guy would be good to go. With a modeling amp, what is extremely different about a modeling amp is a lot of times it reverts to saved settings when you turn it on. So you can store presets, which is great when you find the tone that you like. Um, what's not great about it is when you turn it on, if you have not set the presets on it, you have no idea what you're getting out of it. So understanding that when you plug into a modeling amp, it's good to know how they work as far as the settings on it so that you can quickly change them to, to make your sound not obnoxious. Um, on this particular modeling amp, you do have different amp types, gain and volume for the front side. So that's gonna be that pre-gain and post-gain. Uh, and then also you have your equalizer. Uh, again, these settings when you turn on the amp are probably gonna not be where I have them set. They're gonna revert back to a saved setting on a modeling amp. So knowing where uh, the master section is, so the master volume, and there's also on these uh, katanas a power control, that is where I can set it so that before I turn the amp on, I know it's not gonna be way too loud. We're actually gonna go down to a half watt setting and bring the master volume down. I know that's gonna be quiet because a half watt at a quarter volume is not a lot of sound. All right, starting off with the PV Audition amp. Now, because the volume is low, I've got it set to two. I know when I turn this amp on, I'm not going to get anything weird, any weird sounds out of it. I also have the lead channel off, so it's out. So I should just get basic um, clean sound at low volume, which it does. So knowing what I know about an amp now after that whole seven minute spiel of looking at settings, I knew plugging into this, turning it on, that I'd get a decent clean sound. We are gonna crank it up to six. And that's your basic clean setting. Um, now if I hit the on button, gonna get some buzz, I'm using single coil P90 pickups, so that buzz is gonna come through regardless, um, but that is gonna give me my distortion. So a crunch, a crunch, your typical crunch setting, has a lot less gain or a lot less distortion, so probably going back to that. Has a pretty decent sound. This guy doesn't have any settings as far as that post and pre-gain that we have in the tube amp or the modeling amp. So it's basically an on-off switch for your distortion and volume control. So between a, a crunch and a lead sound, not really much difference. 
But yeah, that's the PV Audition, um, practice amp style. That's how you're gonna get a decent sound out of it. On to the next one. All right, now we're plugged into the Champ 25 SE. Do have the power on, but the standby is not on, so no sounds coming through it. Uh, again, with what we learned, I know my volume is down all the way. My gain is set to two, but my volume on the drive channel is out. So no matter what channel pops on, if I don't have that select switch in right, still going to be okay. It's not gonna blow me out of the water. We'll go ahead and switch the amp to the on setting. And I'm gonna bring my clean volume up. We'll actually turn the loudness. I had the loudness down, which kind of just squashes the volume control out of it. So clean setting, volume at five, with my mid bass and treble up at five. You get just a decent clean tone. a clean setting so if I now select the uh, distortion channel or the drive channel you can see the little red light there uh, pops on uh, and now I'm gonna slowly bring my volume up so for a crunch setting less gain more volume or so less pre gain more post gain um, you can always see how the contour mid treble and bass sound we're gonna just leave those straight up. So now I got basically your uh, your simple crunch style sound. crank the gain so we're gonna run that gain up might have to back off on the post a little bit to keep volume levels even. sound you just crank that gain up after you have everything else set good to go on to the modeling amp all right now again because of the settings that we had set up um, the volume control and uh, the main sound settings so master volume and having that power control on this particular amp turned down I know when I turn it on it's not going to just uh, scream at me I actually had a really soft, clean sound, so I'm going to turn this guy out. I actually must have saved just a standard clean tone to this because it's just a standard clean tone coming out of it. So surprisingly, that's great. Um, we're on the clean setting. We have uh, gain backed off, volume backed off. We're going to go ahead and turn that volume up a little bit, EQ straight up. Effects, let's say if I turned this guy on, there were effects on, all that I have to do is turn those off, revert them back to zero, and then uh, there I won't have to worry about any effects because preset one was stored without any, didn't have to worry about it so much, but should be good to go with that setting here. See what it sounds like, it's just gonna be clean. clean 
same tone. Sounds good. For crunch, on this amp, we're gonna switch it to, to the crunch channel because the volume's set on the master section. We still don't have to worry about it being obnoxiously loud. Um, gain is backed off, still about 25% volume. We can start to push a little bit more. Because it's a modeling amp, it has a specific crunch setting. So you have a good range of hardly any crunch to a lot of crunch. Bring that down. We're going to push the gain a little bit more. So, decent crunch sound. Works good. Now, for a lead sound, we're going to just crank the distortion, go to the lead setting on this particular amp, and I'm going to push that pre gain. It's going to squeal. It's going to get loud. I like it. Well guys, hopefully that was enough information that the next time you plug into an amp that you know nothing about, you can get a good sound out of it. Clean, crunch, and lead are the three foundational types of sound that we hear in modern music all the time. It's pretty simple to listen to a guitar tone and say, yeah, that's crunchy, that's clean, oh, that's, that's really distorted, that's lead, or overdriven, whatever you want to call it. A lot of different names for the same stuff. Um, the amount of saturation is what, what matters. But hopefully next time you plug into that amp that you know nothing about, you can get a good sound out of it. Hit me in the comments with uh, what you would rather listen to, clean, crunch, or uh, lead, what you'd rather play. Uh, not so much what you'd rather listen to, but when you plug into an amp, what sound are you looking to get out of it? Until next time, have a wonderful weekend. Keep making music. I think we're going to do a hat thing.